This is an instructional video in the use of the Billy Goat SC181H 18-inch and SC240HG 24-inch side cutter. As with any Billy Goat product, review the operator's manual provided with the unit and also available at billygoat.com before use. When operating the equipment, use gloves and eye protection. Tip: Ensure the ground has adequate moisture content before using this side cutter. The drier the ground, the less effective and more difficult the cutting will be. To start the engine, turn the engine switch located on the instrument panel to the run position. Pull the choke lever out for the 18-inch model, and note that for the 24-inch model, the choke lever is located on the handle. Rotate the throttle level full forward for the choke. Pull the rope to start. Once the engine starts, push the choke lever in for the 18-inch, and for the 24-inch model, rotate the throttle arm back to the full throttle position. To drive the machine, ensure the bypass lever for the transmission is pushed down. To drive forward, squeeze the lever on the right, and for reverse, squeeze the lever on the left. Next, refer to the depth guide on the top of the machine for desired depth. Note the depth options include a quarter to two and a half inches. To set the cutting depth once at your working location, tip the machine forward. Set the pin at the desired blade depth. Release the black locking lever to unlock the blade depth adjustment from transport position height and push down to the pin. Return the locking lever to the locked position and lower the machine to the ground. To begin cutting into the turf, engage the blade by depressing the orange lever on the machine's handle. The rear wheel can be fixed to cut in a straight line or for curved work, lift the pin above the wheel, turn it a half turn and drop the pin down. When cutting is complete, raise the machine with the blade engaged to cut your way out of the turf and then release the lever and stop cutting. Leave the machine raised and release the black locking lever. Pull the blade engagement arm up to the transport position and relock the black locking lever. Return the machine to the ground and transport to the next location.